Someone asked me to do a video on the GCN video about Lotus versus the Aero bike. Now, basically, spoiler alert, Ollie Bridgewood was 13 seconds quicker on the Aero Orca ugly bike. Where is it? Oh, is this this monstrosity with the little, like, bottle cage and all the rest of it? Anyway, it's so ugly. Um, There we go. Super ugly bike. And Cy Richardson was, like, plus or minus the same. But basically, the point was... This ugly bike was as fast as the Lotus. And someone was like, why? Well, there's quite a lot of reasons. Obviously, you know, they rode to the same power output, apparently. So that, that was one point that I was thinking early on. That, you know, they're not really used to the TT position. But anyway, that's still a valid point. They're not going to be super idle on this because they're not used to it. Never ridden the bike, etc. So, and that's obviously the biggest part is position. So, okay, but let's just say they had the same position. Why would they be slower? Okay, well... There's a couple of things. So obviously the tires are going to be significantly slower on this bike. Now that is enough. The tires done. Thanks for coming. Like that, that's enough on the 13 seconds. So we got the tires, but that's maybe one of the reasons why it's not as quick as you'd expect. You know, I assume this one probably had some Pirellis that are like, you know, they're not great, but do the job. Um, or, you know, we're talking about the Lotus, which is good for sure, but you know, it's not going to have quick tires on which is which is a lot of time i want to show you a, a picture of the front end of the bike because that's something really uh look at there's lots of cables and this is one of the things is like the position itself and the reason it's banned with the with the lack of um down tube okay yeah for sure that that makes it more error but then the number of cables on the front is not going to be helping at all you can see the position here is decent as well um so i think that's one thing definitely that it's not it's not going to be great the front wheel, like, is it aero? Okay, maybe, maybe not. Um, but yeah, I'd say that's the thing. It's like, you know, there's it was really quick back in the day compared to other TT bikes. You compare it to bikes today, probably not quite as quick. But if you did a couple optimizations, you know, with with the cabling uh, and the tires, you'd probably be quicker. Like, I honestly think on, I don't know how far it was, but 13 seconds is like close enough that the tires were probably one of the deciding factors drivetrain efficiency is i'm not sure what chain they're using that's a couple watts you know that could be uh some of the difference as well so i think in conclusion is this video a waste of time well obviously it's a gcn video but and you're trying to do science which are normally a waste of time but i think on this one it really is because they didn't control for some basic stuff i know you're like oh that's changing the bike but come on like just have some relatively similar tires or or you know things like that uh apart from that you know goes to show aero bikes these days are pretty quick that i guess is is useful to know but yeah not the not the best video around but anyway cheers for watching hope to enjoy i'll see you in the next one